Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, day 27 of the League Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bomb. 472 concatenated words. Um, I'll probably do a, another bonus uh, Larry question afterwards. Definitely hit, if you feel like you've done this before, do another one with Larry and let me know. But uh, yeah, okay, let's take a look. Whew, I just took a shower and I. I did my squat stay today. A couple of people asked me to kind of give an update on squats. I don't know. Let me know if you you want to hear about my squat stories. But I actually kind of end up. Uh, I did a one rep squat of two eighty, which is okay. I'm trying to get back up to uh, three fifteen and then eventually double my body weight. Uh, that's my goal. In case you're curious, uh, if not, then you maybe should have fast forward it. Um, but um, my my last working set, I've been I I don't know. I just didn't sleep that well yesterday, so. Um, it's one of those nights, so uh, so we'll see what happens next session, and I, I would keep the same weight and and yeah, uh, my end of year goes three fifteen slash three forty, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, Thursday is my squad day, so just a quick minor update for those of people who are following. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look. Concatenated words, given this way of string words, no dupes. We turn all concatenated words in the given list of words, and that could have. What does that mean? A concatenated word in the a concatenated word is defined as a string that's comprised of at least two shorter words in a given array. Okay. The first thing I, I want to take a look at is the n, because I feel like this is um, it's a very tough problem in general. The only thing that makes it a little bit computationally um, feasible is that the length of the word is dirty so maybe that makes it okay uh i don't know how much of it that like i'm a little bit uh you know playing around with the idea of you know breath first search or whatever just because um uh just because you know this is the the um the last couple of days it, it's a shortest graph problem so maybe something like that. <clears throat> cats dog cats. Apparently I've done this one, but hmm. Let me think about this. Hmm. I don't really have anything that isn't super brute forcey right now. So let's take a look. But the first thing that I would do is maybe sort by length. Because in theory, I want to put the I want to put all the uh, all the shortest things first because they add up to the stuff at the end maybe. Mm. And I'm just trying to think right now. Uh, this may actually not come into play because I'm also thinking about the idea of using a try. <clears throat> um to kind of just make it make a look up more easier i don't know how you let's dog cats dog you just go dog and then you just go to new word mm, that's a little bit awkward I feel like this is a heuristic problem, which means that you, you have to kind of, I don't know, come up with some. Some like weird thing that may or may not work. But. Yeah, I don't think I have a happy solution. The look is nice. I mean, the other thing that I would think about is maybe having a lookup table on the words. And then you could kind of think about it as, no, but it's 10 to the fourth square, right? If you, if you try to do... Um, 
Let me try, just try to think. Can you do greedy? The answer is no, right? Oh, okay, I see. I think one thing that I, I kind of got a little bit too focused on was the 10 to the 4th, but what I should maybe pay a little bit more attention was the L is equal to 30, even though we talked about it a little bit. So because then now, you can maybe do like a, uh, let's just say this is L, L squared DP, right? So you have 900 times 10 to the 4th, which is like a little bit less than a million. Maybe that's fine. Uh, even though the lookups, look ups, look, look ups, looks up. Hmm. Are not cheap okay yeah let's do it that way then i think i, I didn't focus on th this part enough but basically okay now let's say we have a list of words and then now we ha we can do for word in words um if i don't know uh, naming things as such as it is good of word then you know uh duh, 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 and then we turn the answer right now obviously the is good part is a little bit harder but <clears throat> but basically this is just the L squared DP maybe you can write, think about it in another way but but yeah but I, I think that would be the idea is that I'm, I'm going to do the DP idea which is that uh, L is equal to length of word um, let's just say what did I say? DP? Let me just call it DP because I, I'm uh, a little bit lazy today about naming. And then now, just for I in range of L, maybe L plus one, right? For J in range of uh, something like L minus J or something like this. Or maybe J can just be the thing that. Uh, Okay, fine. Something like this, right? So then you have if if uh, word sub i j is it inclusive or exclusive? I always forget. I mean, we'll play around with the off by ones, but something like this uh, is in lookup. Then we know that this word exists. Then we can do something like DP, uh, yeah. We have to make sure that we don't use the original word, but um, but that's fine. So DP of J plus one is equal to DP of I, and maybe if only if uh, if DP sub I, and then of course we do DP of zero is equal to true, and then we just re return DP of L, right? Something like that. Yeah, I, I was worried that about this because I know that it would probably just get the entire word. So I, actually, I've, I should have said it before because now it looks like I'm just say, saying it because I saw this. But I was actually thinking that I mean I kind of alluded to it that it, because of this word will contain the original word. Um, yeah. And you can maybe add an if statement here, but maybe I'm going to just cheat a little bit the other way where look up dot remove word and then we'll just add word again uh, afterwards. Maybe that's a little bit easier. Okay. I mean, and you can maybe just like add an extra if statement, but then you keep on have to do it for every look up. So maybe that's a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, let's give it a submit then. Okay. Huh. Last time I did, I got two wrong answers. Hmm. What did I do last time? Uh, okay, so I did it the same way. I also thought that I could sort it by words. I guess technically that part is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I got it wrong, but all right. But this looks pretty much straight, straight and forwardy. Um, I didn't really explain the dynamic programming though. So I, um, but, but this is. This is basically the dynamic programming of. Um, connectivity between two nodes, right? So basically, mm, I'm depending whether I should find a thing, but I, I should have explained this a little bit before I implemented it, but I wasn't sure about it, so that's why I didn't want to embarrass myself a little bit if it was wrong. But let's just say, you know, you have a word like this, and, you know, we... <clears throat> and now, all the spaces that are between, including the first and the last character, um, it's, a, it's the node. 
and then you can think about it as an edge um, let me just oh, this is just hard to ask you let me uh let me bring up the the, the thingy uh, let's see i updated some of the software so like hopefully this still works okay all right but basically um yeah so let's just say you have some word you know what's a cat's dog cats or something uh Something like this, right? Excuse the poor uh, handwriting. But basically, you have, you know, a notice, all the things that are in between uh, each letter. And then you can consider an edge, you know, because cat is in there. So you could consider an edge here. Uh, dog, you could consider an edge here. And then an edge here to the end. Oh, I forgot to do that. You could, there are also maybe other words, right? For example, you could go here. Um, mm, I don't know. Maybe, well, in that case, this is also one. Uh, maybe at is a word, for example, right? And then the basic idea is the connectivity DP is that can you get from the first node to the last node, right? And that's basically what I did. Um, I didn't do it in a very cheap way. I mean, maybe you could do it a little bit more um, processing if you really um, focused on it or whatever. But but given the L is dirty, um, this should be good enough. Um, so let's look at the complexity, shall we? Um, let's just say that and maybe this could have been a try actually i suppose because and that would probably make it a little bit well it'll make the complexity faster but of course the actual implementation at least in python i'm not sure that it'll be that much faster um yeah but basically this is o of l this is o of l this is technically o of l as well um though it comes out to be l cubed over uh, i don't know so maybe that is actually kind of expensive in complexity terms to be honest now that i think about it but like i said this this, this um this thing is way optimized in python so so uh, don't tell me i don't, don't tell anyone i said that because you know <laughs> or whatever um but that's why you get away with it but you can do this in constant time like i said if you look do it in a using a try then you can think about this thing as just um you know just just um starting from i you you literally move through the try one node at a time so then this becomes o of one instead of o of n um and yeah and this is obviously pretty straightforward otherwise um but yeah so this becomes l square plus l plus l plus l um so yeah so this is this is o of l square time and o of L space, right? Uh, my, oh, I have caps lock on. So it looks like I'm yelling. yelling. Um, and here, of course, there's n words, each one n square. So in total, this is, as we said, going to be O of n times L square time and O of, I guess in theory, uh, let's just say L plus, uh, what is this? H sp space where h is the size of the output right um because and that that size of the output can be linear because if every word is in it then well that, there you go right um so yeah um but we don't use extra space other than the output size so yeah uh well and l uh very good i think that's all i have for this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.